Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Nav Viking Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, today I wanted to go over warehouse. Uh, NAV has a warehouse management system built in. Uh, a lot of companies or ERP systems will integrate a warehouse system uh, outside, so they'll run the warehouse separately from um, the ERP. But in NAV, we are lucky enough to actually have a full-fledged warehouse management system in the base package. So um, right now I am logged in as a warehouse worker, which is one of the uh, basic roles that comes with the system. And everything that I'm looking at right here is regarding warehouse. As you can see, we have uh, picks for outbound, uh, putaways for inbound, and then we have internal movements, uh, etc. So what I'm going to do now is show you how a purchase order can be received through the warehouse. Uh, and so when I when I talk about warehouse or warehouse management system, the difference is that uh, in NAV you can have a location which has not been enabled, and that means that you can just receive into that location. You don't have to worry about where inside that location the inventory is. Um, but if you're concerned with that, you have racks and uh, bins inside your warehouse, and you need to track that then you bin enable the warehouse. So let me go ahead and show you this. If I go into locations, and these are standard locations within an AV uh, demo system. So if you have a demo system, uh, you will probably see these. Uh, and we have all kinds of locations here. And um, for example, the blue location, if I go into that one, um, this one is in Atlanta. Uh, if I go here into bins, um, and I can see that there are no bins enabled right here. Nothing has been selected. And um, in the warehouse tab right here, I can see that none of the rules have been checked off. So you can see if if I actually check off require receive, then we have to create a receive document inside NAV. Require shipment, we have to create that. Require put away, etc., etc. So one of the biggest checkbox here, or most important one, is called bin mandatory. Uh, in bin mandatory, if I check that off, uh, it means that whenever I'm moving things around inside that warehouse, I need to specify the bin. Uh, in this, the blue warehouse is free of all of that. You can see nothing has been selected uh, for the receipt bin, shipment bin, all of that, uh, and nothing checked off, which means it's a big container. You just receive into it and you ship out of it. Uh, what happens inside of that, a Navy is not concerned with. Now, to show a different uh, warehouse where things are checked off, the white warehouse. You can see in the white warehouse, everything is set up. You can see the bins are set up even for production and receipt, um, require uh, receive shipment, put away, pick, bin mandatory, all of that. Um, ADCS, this is actually the mobile product. I'm not gonna show that. I'm just gonna show the actual functionality inside NAV. You don't have to uh, do everything on the mobile product. Actually, you don't have to do anything on the mobile product. You can do everything inside NAV, but I'll leave that for a different session to show the mobile product. The mobile product is basically just a view into the pages that are happening inside NAV. So all of the logic happens in NAV. Nothing happens on the mobile product except just input output. Um, Okay, so we'll close that off. And what I was going to do is receive something into the white warehouse and show you how that is different from the blue warehouse. Uh, and so I'm going to go into a purchase order and create one. You've probably seen that before. Uh, but creating purchase orders takes very little time. 
we're getting something from the London Postmaster. And it is an item. It is the 2017 coffee mug. And we're getting it into the white location. It's going to be uh, 200 pieces. And that's it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually release this. So it's good. And since it's going to the white warehouse, um, I have to do something different. Uh, normally what I could have done is just post the receipt here and uh, and that would generate, so basically just go in here and post receive and that would generate a receipt into the blue warehouse for example. But since I'm in the white warehouse, I have to go in the warehouse here and say create warehouse receipt. This is different. So I create a warehouse receipt and now this warehouse receipt header has been created. That basically sends it to the warehouse letting the warehouse know that, yep, you should be expecting this. Okay. And here it is. So there is a warehouse receipt for a purchase order um, for that, etc., etc. This is a separate document for the warehouse. Notice that there are no uh, amounts here. It's all quantities. And it is saying that we need to receive this into the white warehouse in the receiving zone. Uh, and in bin code W080001. So we have everything here, three layers. Okay. Now I'm going to just close this out uh, and go back into my warehouse employee here, warehouse worker. Now, just a note in order to be a warehouse worker, you need to set up the warehouse employees, and it is in the warehouse employee table right here and I've set up myself as an employee in the white warehouse. If I hadn't done that the system would have uh, given an error when I'm trying to uh, access any of the receipts or picks or putaways etc. Okay so now we have a receipt so I'm gonna go into warehouse receipts right here and here it is number six that's my coffee mug standard uh, now, this I could have accessed now on my mobile device. It doesn't look exactly like this. It looks a little different, but it shows me that this receipt is coming in. These are the quantities that we're expecting, etc., etc. I can validate that on the mobile device and post. I'm going to do it in this page here for now. So um, I'm going to receive 200. And yes, we got 200. So I'm going to post it. I post the receipt. Yes. What does this do? Well, it posts the receipt so that the inventory is now in the white warehouse in the receiving bay. Uh, and we have created a put away activity for the warehouse. So what has happened in phys uh, physical terms or in reality is that they have pulled in the inventory into the receiving bay, but it hasn't been put away into the bins in our uh, stock. So, and the system automatically creates an activity to do that. So that's the next activity to do. All right, so I'm gonna go out of here, back into my role centers. And now I can see I have unassigned putaways. And if I were the warehouse manager, I could assign the putaway to people so they could come in and see what putaways they need to do. In this case, it's not that big. So I'm just gonna go and do it myself. I go into my put away and this is important. So in this put away, uh, I have two lines, but I'm only receiving one line. Why do I have two lines? I have two lines because it's telling me what to do. It says, go ahead and pick up the 200 coffee mugs that are in bin code 801 and then place them into the picking zone to bin code 410. Okay. And then I just go ahead and I, you know, I scan uh, the, the actual item uh, with the mobile device, and then I scan it into the actual bin. So here, for example, if I would scan it into a different bin, I could pick another bin to put it into. And why does the system tell me to put it into this bin? 
So there are some rules that we set up, and it's kind of beyond the scope of this video, where um, you can tell the system to fill up bins according to a certain pattern. Uh, in this case, we're okay with this for 10 and 200 go. So I'm just going to go ahead and register this put away. Yes. And now I'm done. So now the the coffee mugs are in in the bin. So I can actually go here into my item list and look at my coffee mug and then go up into bin contents. Notice it's all in the warehouse thing. And you can tell me, okay, there's 200 in the white warehouse in this bin. They are available to be picked. Um, and just a little bit on bin contents. So I can go into a screen called bin contents. Oops. If I could write, um, you see. And here I can see all the bin contents of all of the bins that are out there and how much how much quantity is there and how much is available to take. And so you can see this, these are all items. You can notice, uh, if you notice this item here is in two bins. So, um, you know, you're gonna see multiplicity and that makes sense because of course the item, there could be a lot of that item, uh, etc. So that is how the receiving works on the warehouse. Um, and I am going to do another video where I show you the pick uh, after this one and I hope this uh, was enlightening as well uh, if please subscribe uh, and give comments or ask questions thanks for taking the time to watch this video as always we welcome any questions or suggestions um, so leave comments or of course if you can subscribe that would be awesome uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Enacta and uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to inecta.com.